but I think the set history between these two is very uh, Glock favored, um, and the majority, if not all, of that coming with Game and Watch. Um, so, uh, Bank. Well, they're gaming and we're watching, so we'll see how what comes of that. Yeah, Bank's certainly no stranger to this matchup at all, um, but you know we'll see what he can do to to overcome. Nick Marcus's prowess, uh, in particular against Marth, I think, you know, great player all around, but uh, an especially strong matchup for him. We've seen him take a lot of great wins over the years. It's a lot of different Marths. Yo, he did the thing. Nick is uh, our reigning Mass Madness champion currently. So he's trying to defend the title here against uh, Bank. Yeah, I can't remember his exact run at the previous one, but a lot of really crazy impressive wins. Um, yeah. There were a lot of well-seated players. One of the few matchups where Mark actually gets outranged in certain areas. Most yeah. of the time, you're beating Marth, you're doing, you know, you're getting certain openings. You're not just like going hitbox for hitbox. You don't go ban for ban yeah. with Marth. But, but Game Watch has got it like that. That fair is big. The nair is big too. Like yeah. maybe a down air. Yeah, the nair is huge but slow. Uh, definitely seeing a fair lot as a big open up and neutral tool. And yeah, Glock out to a big early lead here. Punish game looking on fleek. What's the four air called? Um, fuck if I know. I call it like a credit card, but it's not that. Is it like a trash can or something? I think it's just like a boss. It's like giving you a present or some shit. Ooh! The little drop zone uh, parachute. Pretty, pretty yeah, oxymoronic if you think about it. Like going down as fast as you can to use your well, parachute. Yeah. Like, yeah, you would think the parachute would instantly cancel a fast fall. Well, they, they didn't get done designing the character, so it doesn't, like, impede his fall. They, they fixed that in Brawl. Yeah. Well, one thing that, like, I, I just honestly don't really know about... Is, I don't really know what the approach for Marth is supposed to be when recovering against Game & Watch, because... He does, like, I, I feel like most characters can't really contend with the range of, like, Dolphin Slash or, like, Fair if Marth wants to put out some protective hitboxes when recovering, but I feel like you kind of can just go out there with some of these big Game & Watch aerials and intercept them. That Nair covers everything on that platform tech chase. All right, Bank. Able to get out to a lead this game. And building up some good percent now is not able to take that check chase any further. The failure shield will do it. Yeah, you know, it's it gets it looks really perilous when Game and Watch does these things and he's trying to cover it with shield afterwards. Because it's so small and he like holds his hands out so you get poked really easily, but I think there's some tech you can do with that. Some wow. light shield to make the, the shield a little bit better. Bank with the big swing, and she's able to take a cheeky little one stock lead. All right, that game and watch shield not cool. through the mark down air, and that turns into a big combo. Really nice conversion there from Bank to get that tipper F smash from that forward air, using the platforms to her advantage. Yeah, as someone who plays a character with a real shield, uh, who has gotten shield poked by Marth Dare more times than I care to count, I could see how that might be a very strong option in neutral in this matchup, or just like a get off me move out of shield. Marth Down Air comes out deceptively quick and really can shield poke quite often. Okay. Bang cooking a little bit, you know, getting that, getting that run back. On, yeah. the, on the Yoshis. Yeah, that's how you get the momentum back. I mean, really, just as convincing a win as we saw from uh, Glock and my Toyota in game one. So, you know, both players now have seen what the other can do. Uh, know they both can win this set. And we're just going to see who continues to execute. So, 
FD is interesting here. I, I guess it makes sense because Game & Watch is never going to... Well, there might be some chain grab shenanigans, too. But, well, let's see. No chain grab, just... You get into that edge guard scenario. If you force the up B from Marth, there's obviously no platforms to mess it up. Do you think there are more uh, combos that uh, Nick could hit if he was allowed to use pause strats? I feel like some of these like frame windows are so tight, you know. Yeah. I don't think it works well in uh, a two-player game, but like, could you do that? Like, just like, mess up, like they're doing like, like obviously you'd lose your stock afterwards, right? But if you like mess up their recovery, like, like, I guess you just turn pause off and that would be the solution, but yeah. Uh, for that one time it worked it whenever, beautiful. you know. Yeah, bro, I've seen a speedrun, dude. I, I, got, I got the reference, trust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the game at hand. Bang taking a small lead here. Block slowly forced her into the corner, but uh, she's taking all the space back and has an opportunity for an edge guard. Yeah, a lot of B moves being used right now. That, that was like, three B moves in the course of like two seconds. Alright, that's probably going to be it. Yeah, yeah, just a little, a little too much horizontal distance for Game & Watch to cover there. It's really hard to tell because his vertical distance is so good. Yo! He let him know what, what he was going to do. Like, oh, oh, oh! That uh, down this tilt could be big. is super good. Yep, c catches his double jump. Just needs to finish the edge guard now and does. We got ourselves a last stock game. That down tilt is so good for opening up. All right, Bank has an open up of her own. Oh my God, this is so tense. I think these close interactions are, are favoring Bank Ooh. a little bit though. Gets the grab. Grab just barely works. Oh, doesn't really do a whole lot. Bank able to grab ledge and finish it out. All right. Our first tight battle of the set, and Molly is able to finish it off. Let's see if Nick can come back and force a game five here. You know, personally, I'm a dreamland man myself. But I understand people don't like that against Mark these days. Okay. No conversion. Uh, that's a death. All right, Molly off to an early lead. This is pretty interesting that, like, Mart's kill con is just, like, hit them so far away that the vertical distance doesn't matter. I feel like I have, like, a memory locked deep away somewhere of uh, blocking my Toyota, force docking this exact player on this stage. It's some mass madness in the long pass, but Molly off to a big lead right now, saying the future is now. Yeah, and I'm gonna beat this game and watch today. I thought you were gonna commentator curse uh, bank into a four stock, but clearly not the case here. See if Nick can get that grab game going again. I think that was uh, a lot of what we were seeing in those earlier games. Just getting the guaranteed conversions off of that. Down tilt. That's no jump on Marth. It does get back to ledge safely. But uh, Glock has made this game much closer already. But uh, taking this stock before losing your second to last one would be enormous. Yeah, for sure. You just have so much room to play with that... Obviously, you're not going to put the gas off the pedal, but... 
just, right. just knowing that you've got an extra stock and that you can you can take some trades, you know, yeah. helps a lot with the mindset. That up air was nice. All right, barely living. Gets off the ledge. Oh, and the shield just does not hold up to that get up attack. All right, Molly off to a commanding lead. Can she close it out? Or can Glock potentially nice bring dipper. this back? It's a long road ahead. Tries to snipe the game and watch with that down air. Doesn't end up sniping. Got counter sniped. Down tilt's so good in here. Okay, big nair hit there. Bank tries to counter with some side B pressure, ends up getting hit a little bit. Now it's scrappy. All right. This might be it. Cannot yeah. take many more hits. Clips her with the up B and has an edge bad situation here. Ooh, but a little too antsy and he's gonna trade with that up tilt. Yeah. Good stuff to Bank, able to close it out. That was uh, after that first game, you know, it was looking pretty good. For yeah, him. and I could be mistaken, but I, I think that is historically a bracket demon for Banks. So really impressive performance there. I 